Hey guys, Baron here, back with another LEGO review. Today, we're going to be taking a very special look at the Series 14 LEGO minifigures. These are the Halloween Monsters minifigures that uh, actually just came out. Um, as of the time of recording this video, it's actually about halfway through August, and um, I don't think that uh, most places actually have these yet, but uh, Brick Show uh, let everybody know that a couple days ago, I believe that uh, a couple Target stores had actually already rolled these out. And um, I'd heard that some people could get a hold of them and some people couldn't. So that's actually uh, actually really cool. So we uh, uh, picked up a couple today and we're actually going to do um, a special two-part video. And uh, took a couple days off and we're going to make up for that. And what a way, what an awesome way to come back. We're going to go ahead and take a look uh, clockwise here, right to left at the brand new minifigures. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep these aside, uh, maybe do a little bit of uh, research on them as far as maybe a PSA for uh, bump codes. We'll go ahead and check these out in order, and then I will set them aside, and we will figure out who we get out of this brand new wave. Now, uh, I do not have a uh, minifigure sheet yet for them, so I'm not exactly sure what their um, their individual minifigure names are yet. We'll go ahead and take a look at that as we get our first one. And I think uh, last time we went uh, clockwise, let's just go ahead and do clockwise again. Why not? And let's go ahead and take a look at our very first one, guys. This is very cool. Not even out yet. I believe this will come out, uh, I believe sometime in either September or October. So let's go ahead and take a look. First one we get, oh my gosh, guys. This is the. <laughs> this is actually the one that I wanted. The, the the most the first oh very cool this is the Frankenstein rocker I'm not sure if they have their actual printed names on them okay very cool this is the uh, yeah the Frankenstein guy and he's got his uh, he's got his red uh, guitar there it's kind of a red recoloring of the friends guitar and I was going to actually use that for my uh, personal uh, minifigure guitar and very very awesome that we get this piece. And it's got a, a little stud on the back there. Here's our rocker guy. He's got a little lock on his uh, torso piece there. Got a uh, shock and roll printed on the back. And he's got his Frankenstein kind of molded headpiece. So very cool. We've also got the um, uh, some minifigure online stuff here on the back. And then, yeah, we've got the uh, the full uh, setup here for the, new, um, for the new minifigures. So we'll go ahead and take a look at our... Next one, oh, I think it'd be really cool if we got the uh, the spider lady. That'd be that'd be really cool. But uh, either in these uh, in these four, or maybe in the next four, in the next video. So let's go ahead and take a look at our second one here. And this is uh, okay. Let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put him over here. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at our next one here. Okay, and this is the oh, well, looks like it's the zombie cheerleader. Yes, we see the uh, kind of the grayish body there and then also the pom-poms and let's take a look at what she looks like built up there she is and that's going to be our zombie cheerleader very uh, cool printed piece on the front there it's kind of hard to see but we actually get a lot of detail in the fact that uh, looks like the printing on there is like ripped up uh, kind of the grayish grayed out skin there and then her kind of printed worried face there so all right, we'll go ahead and take a look at the next one. Okay, oh, very cool. This looks like the Bigfoot or Yeti uh, creature here, or uh, I, I believe the uh, uh, Brickipedia page uh, links this to Squarefoot, I believe is what they're calling him. Very, uh, very cute with his little square, with a square foot piece there. And it uh, looks like a uh, kind of a recoloring of the Yeti, um, that white kind of snow type Yeti that we've got that we got for um, that we got for Lego movie and then also uh, or I believe it was one of the minifigures uh, series in the past and then also uh, sort of looks like a different uh, different version of Chewbacca almost okay and this was his and hers okay and then the last one here the upper left it looks like oh very cool another uh, another new one no repeats here this looks like the gargoyle the little tiny gargoyle here he's got a uh, oh, this cool little molded uh, back back piece here uh, all stone gray 
oh, this is very cool. This um, this kind of uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get a good focus on it. The gray here. There we go. Uh, the gray uh, printing on there. Uh, that uh, kind of dark gray on light gray reminds me a lot of the uh, old gargoyles uh, figures, uh, the animated series from back in the 90s. Oh, very cool. We get this printing a uh, little bit. You can see it on the top of the head there, and then also a little bit on his face there. We'll go ahead and take a look at what he looks like built up entirely. Okay, there he is there. And, and with the uh, short legs, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be just like a normal imp gargoyle or if it's supposed to be a, uh, a kid. Uh, we don't see very many. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're, uh, they're all on full-size legs except for him and a couple of these uh, Ninjago-type uh, ghost bases. But uh, yeah, I thought originally that they were kids trick-or-treating, and I, I believe it's like a mix. Uh, I believe it's like just just parents or adult size minifigure uh, leg pieces there. So very very cool. This is the first of uh, this is the first of two videos that's going to come out. I'm going to go ahead and do the second one like right now, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at another uh, set of four that we picked up. This has been the uh, Lego minifigures series 14 monsters. Halloween minifigure random bags. Uh, it's been uh, very interesting uh, to check it out a little bit ahead of schedule and uh, th thought it would be definitely uh, cool to let you guys take a look at it. So uh, be sure to leave a comment below. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be taking a look at all the uh, content coming from us very soon. You guys be sure to have a great day.